Hello everyone, I'm Ashley and today I've got Neura's FW600 camera monitor. In this video I'm going to explain how to use this fantastic product from Neura and show you some tips on how to get the best use. Let's begin by unboxing the product. Please ensure that you have everything before getting started. This includes the camera monitor, the sun shield and sun hood, the L-shaped mount, the micro USB cable, the OTG adapter cable, the flash drive, two HDMI cables, the microfiber cloth, and the manual. If you've got everything, you're good to go. Next, let's quickly dive into what this product has to offer. To start with, it has a 5.5 inch touchscreen display panel and a 1080p resolution output. It also only weighs 158 grams, perfect for all camera setups. This product is equipped with many features, one of which is the ability to use LUTs. This is very helpful for calibrating true color grading in real time. Most of all, it supports 4K inputs without any delay. Going further, this camera monitor features a narrow and edging design, supports multiple sources for power, and has a high contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. Right, let's begin setting this up. Firstly, let's install the L mount to a camera shoe mount. Simply slide the L mount with ease into the shoe mount and rotate the wheel in a clockwise motion to secure it into place. Quick tip, you can mount this to any shoe mount, such as a gimbal, as long as it has the correct accessories. Now, let's install the sun shield. Taking extra care, gently clasp the sun shield over the monitor, ensuring that it's in the correct position. You will hear a slight clicking sound once it's secured into the back of the camera monitor. Now you can safely press the sun hood into place by matching the velcro together. Attaching the L mount to the camera monitor is really simple. Align the screw in the L mount to the screw hole located beneath the camera monitor's power button and twist the knob to tighten it into place. The next step is to install the correct HDMI cable to your camera. Simply insert either the micro, mini or standard HDMI into your camera and the other end into the HDMI in port located on the left side of the camera monitor. The final step is to give it some power. Either insert a 12 volt DC power source into the DC in port located on the left side of the camera monitor or use a Sony NPF battery and slot this into the back of the camera monitor. All you have to do now is press and hold the power button to turn it on. If the camera monitor states no signal, you may have to change a few settings within your camera to allow live viewing across HDMI. Quick tip! At the bottom of the camera monitor you will find a 3.5mm headphone jack. This is very helpful to hear the true audio you capture. Next, let's dive into the main functions. Start by pressing the menu button located at the top of the camera monitor to get started. On the left hand side you will be greeted with five main tabs. Exposure assist, focus and composition, LUT config, display setting and system config. Quick tip, a full list of functions can be found inside the manual for further assistance. Thanks to the touchscreen display, you can easily and quickly access all of the settings to configure the best camera monitor for you. However, you are also able to use the buttons located at the top of the camera monitor to maneuver around the settings as well. Let's quickly do an example. Press in the focus and composition tab and then mark ratio. I can choose my favorite one with a simple glide. I can also choose between four colors. Let's choose white. This will help me angle my shot more accurately using a cinematic ratio, saving me a lot of time. Let's do another example. Press in the system config tab and then hotkey. I can change the arrow buttons located at the top of the camera monitor to a function of my choice to act as a shortcut. This will help me massively, especially in a fast paced area whilst shooting a scene. Now, let's look into adding custom LUTs to the camera monitor. As a videographer myself, this is a great feature, saving me a lot of time in the editing suite. The first step is to plug the flash drive into your computer and copy over your favorite LUTs to a new folder. Then insert the flash drive into the OTG adapter cable. 
and then into the micro USB port located at the bottom of the camera monitor. Next, go to the LUT config tab on the main function screen. Press custom LUT USB and then press look USB. You will now see all of the folders, including the one that you've just created on your computer. Double tap the folder to open it and then double tap your chosen LUTs to begin the loading process. Once finished, quit the USB and you can now safely unplug the OTG adapter cable from the camera monitor. To switch between LUTs, simply go back to the LUT config tab and press the arrow to open a list which shows all of your loaded LUTs. You really will have a lot of fun with this product, but before I go, here are some safety notes. Please remove the battery when the camera monitor is not in use. Do not use the camera monitor in a wet environment. Always update to the latest firmware when possible to avoid any errors and ensure proper use of the sun hood to avoid straining of the eyes. Thanks for watching and I hope this video has helped you. So what are you waiting for? Become a professional today with Nura's FW600 camera monitor.